This is the fastest way to complete the Kai Perico setups. Head over to the prep screen and you will see one option available, the gather intel mission. Once you've started it, go to the seat right over here and choose the option to fast travel. Simply check out which location is closest to the yellow circle and go towards that place. If you own the sparrow, take that to go to the location else you can call your dinghy via your interaction menu which will take you a bit longer to get there once you're there take down the enemies enter the plane and fly towards Kaipuriko. at this point you have to carefully follow along to not get spotted by the guards if you run straight forward you will see this bike get on it and you want to take the exact same route i take to not get spotted you want to take a right turn around this place and keep going forward i'll play this at double speed since all you have to do is drive straight forward where you see this box goes slightly to the left right between those trees and you will see the road right in front of you simply keep driving forward make sure to stay on the left side of the camera when you're at this place you want to go over this mountain make sure when you're a bit before the mountain to do a wheelie to get over it way easier now go to the right side if there are guards with their vehicles let them pass first and then you can continue here you want to go into this farm make sure to stay out of the guard's vision on the right side and be careful where you drive so you don't fall off on your map you will already see the communication tower marked with a yellow circle avoid the last few cameras and guards and go up the hill if you see a guard on the other side of the communication tower it means that the signal box is not on the first floor you will have to climb up the ladder and do the hacking over there once you found it it's time to hack into the signal box this is pretty easy all you need to do is know what these icons on the right side mean the first icon multiplies your number times one the second icon multiplies your number times two and the last one multiplies it times ten simply match everything up so it has the same number as above and you will complete the hack within a few seconds now take out your phone and go to the right bottom app all you want to do is go three times towards the right side and you will find the primary target on this page in my case i got the pink diamond if you're doing the high solo you don't have to scope out the other things since you can't collect the gold solo you can however still check the office for paintings the fastest way to go back to your planning screen is to set the Kosatka as your spawn location and then join a new session. Now you can go to the planning screen where you will see that you've unlocked the other setup missions. The only three sections you need to have a look at are the approach vehicle, equipment and weapon loadout. The rest you can completely ignore. Let's first start with the weapon loadout. It doesn't really matter which loadout you pick, I usually go for the aggressor or conspirator since I make the final high easier for me you don't need to buy the suppressor when you do the final heist you can equip it for free now once you've started the weapon loadout on the bottom you will see that you got the meriwether hq or one of the other locations for the meriwether hq mission you will need to follow a helicopter all the way to the destination which is going to take a long time you can skip this mission using your guided missiles in your cassetka you do need to buy this as an upgrade for your cassetka which costs 1.9 million dollars but if you don't have that don't worry you can also join a new session which allows you to start the setup again if you haven't yet make sure to fast travel to Vespucci Beach now take your oppressor mark 2 or sparrow and fly towards the building make sure to land on the rooftop so you can do this in completely stealth which is the fastest way to do this mission now once you're inside use a suppressed weapon and kill this guy first you want to first shoot a bullet to open the door and then with your second bullet kill him the guy on the right side of the entrance kill him as well and then go in this direction kill these two other guards as well and behind the desk you will find the last guy to take down now you can open the gun locker hack the laptop collect the weapons and exit the building again when you're exiting the building make sure to exit through the roof there will be two helicopters which will spawn in trying to kill you just make sure to kill the enemies that are in the back and not the pilot itself this way they won't respawn and no one will kill you when flying back to your cassette car now moving on to the equipment section you have four options over here the demolition charges you can complete 
completely avoid. You only need to complete the plasma cutter, fingerprint cloner and the cutting torch in order to start the final heist. You might have the safe code option instead of the plasma cutter. This is because you have the bearer bonds as the primary target. I'll show in a moment how to do that setup mission. Let's first start with the plasma cutter. You will have to do this setup if you have the tequila, ruby necklace, pink diamond or panther statue as the primary target. When you start the plasma cutter prep, fly to the safe house. This is the easiest setup mission out of all of them. Simply once you've entered, immediately take out your phone and take a picture. You don't need to go all the way to the planning board, saving you some extra time. Now send your picture to Pavel and exit the building. Go to Rockford Hills and blow everything up with your oppressor or use your grenades. You don't need to exit your vehicle if you have your oppressor. You can simply fly over the green bag located on your map and head back with the plasma cutter to your submarine. The second option which you can get is the safe code. You will only get this option if you have the bearer bonds as the primary target. I recommend doing all these setups with your oppressor mark 2 but if you don't own it the sparrow will do the job as well. It's just a bit slower. Now when flying through the casino make sure that these two wings are inside. You do this by pressing the button the way you jump in GTA. So on PC this would be the space bar. This will change the speed from 108 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour speeding everything up a lot more once you've entered the casino go up the elevator over here now search for the two guards if it isn't on this side you have to go back and check the other side take down the two guards silently to avoid alerting the remaining guards inside the penthouse. When entering the penthouse, make sure that you don't have your gun in your hand and aren't in stealth mode. This way, no one gets alerted inside. Now run with no guns in your hand all the way to the back where the head of the security is located. If you can't find him here, you he might be at this location right in the beginning. Now take him out and collect the safe code as fast as you can. Once you've collected it, take your RPG or anything that will kill you fast to blow yourself up. This will speed up the process and complete the safe code prep in no time. Now go back to your vehicle and deliver the safe code to your cassette. The next setup mission is the fingerprint cloner. For this prep you need to go to the warehouse, land right in front of the yellow mark with your oppressor and take out your assault shotgun. When entering the building, inside four enemies will be waiting for you. Take them all down and all the way in the back you will find a laptop. Complete the simple hack and fly to the next location which is at the archive. Over here no one will be inside, simply run all the way towards the back to collect the fingerprint cloner and exit the building. If you were spotted by the cameras when going inside, be careful for enemies waiting outside. Now just take the vehicle which you came with and head back towards your submarine. Now the last one for the equipment preps is to get the cutting torch. Get back on your vehicle and fly to the construction site. Once you're here you don't want to kill anyone. Make sure to land out of the enemies their vision and look for this yellow helmet. This way you can search safely for the cutting torch without getting confronted by the guards. For some reason you can't pick it up instantly though so you will have to run in a circle before picking up the helmet. Now you can check all the boxes with the green arrows until you find the blue cutting torch. Make sure to not bump into the guards or stand in their walking line else as you can see you will get spotted and alert anyone which makes the setup mission a bit harder. Now once you've found the cutting torch, grab it and go back to your vehicle to deliver it to your Cosetka. For the approach vehicles you either want to choose the Cosetka or the long pin. I will show you both how to complete them the fastest way starting first with the Cosetka approach. If you came here with your oppressor, make sure to return that to your storage first to avoid destroying it. Now go to the seat over here and you want to fast travel to the closest location where the marker is. Now don't exit yet, you're going to choose the option to drive the submarine. Go in a straight line towards the yellow dot on your map. Don't worry about the boats and helicopters, trying to kill these enemies is a waste of time. When you see the yellow circle show up under your map, you want to go underwater with 
with your Corsetka. Once you're close enough to the other submarine, take the exact same route that I take. You're not going to exit the usual way, you're going down here which lets you spawn underneath your submarine, letting you instantly swim towards the other Corsetka. Once you're in here, I recommend using your assault shotgun since it's a great weapon for close range fights. In here you need to steal the sonar jammer. There are a total of 3 locations where it can be located at. The first location is at the prep screen right on top of it. The second location is on top of this green box. And lastly where I managed to get it is right over here on this pipe. Once you've collected it, go to the yellow circle marked on your map, exit the submarine and swim back towards your Cosetka from the bottom. That's it, you're good to go with the Cosetka approach. With the long fin approach, the setup mission is a bit different. First, fly towards the location marked on your map. If you own a truck cap, you can call that in, else you need to check your map and go to one of these locations to steal one. Now drive back to the long fin and before you're going to steal it, make sure to place a marker at this location because this is the location where you're going to deliver the long fin at. Now drive backwards and take the long fin and simply follow the route to deliver it. You do need to lose the cops, sometimes you will lose them while driving like I have right now. But if you're at the end and you still haven't lost the cops, just exit your vehicle, go away from your vehicle and blow yourself up. This will remove your wanted stars. And that's really it. You've completed all these setups in order to start the final heist. Check out this video on how you can complete the final heist. The left side is the Cosetka approach and the right side is the Dongfin approach.